Hey everyone, today we are going to learn how to solve this word problem from our workbook 3B, page 137, area and parameter, a level 3 question in our work in this chapter. Let's take a look at the question first and practice our race and steps. On the left side, you can see this is the workbook page. And in fact, what I did here is I've made copies of the worksheet and so that I can do a demonstration on it. In fact, if you find that this method is useful for you to learn, you can also make copies at home if you have a printer and a phone that is. Okay, so the very steps of reading, annotation, Choose and evaluation. We we'll particularly look at the race steps in terms of reading and annotation. Okay, let's do that now. Okay. The figure is made up of two identical squares, A and B. Find the area of the figure. Okay, we did once. I'm going to read it again. The figure is made up of two identical squares, A and B. Find the area of the figure. Okay, I've read that again. So now I'll do my annotations and highlighting. Now, I have a figure. This figure is made up of two identical squares. A and B. Find the area. That's what the question is asking about of the figure. Okay. Now, if it's not clear enough, I'll use my pencil and do it again. Alright? The figure here is made of two identical squares. Identical means they are exactly the same. Squares A and B find the area of the figure. Okay? So, what I've done here is Actually, I've made a copy of the question and I've shown to you, I've cleared up the inside of the shape to give you a better look at what the figure is. So if you look at on my right side, the copy that I've made, this is the figure that we are talking about. Okay, so this is the figure. And I make another copy here, as you can see, here. See? And... I'm going to snip it now. Right at the joint line of square A and B. And you can see I have square A, square B. And this is what it means by identical. These two are exactly the same. See, I can put them together and you can see that there's no there's no protrude, there's no part that's coming out of it that's called protruding. They're exactly the same squares, okay? And putting them side by side, and then I draw an outline around it. That's what the figure means, okay? So that's this is the figure. So we're supposed to find the area of the figure, and by now we should be able to understand, when you're talking about the area, you're talking about the space that's inside of the shape. Okay, the figure made up of these two squares. Now, there are, there are a few methods to solve this question. We'll look at the one that is on the left side here, explaining the workbook, guiding you through the steps. And then I'll present with, to you another method, which some of us may already know how to do, because you're looking at this figure now, without the squares to confuse you. Right? Okay. Now, on the left side here, because you know that this two figure is made out of these two squares, here says, find the area of one of the squares first. That's what is doing, happening here. So I have one of the squares here, and I know that the side of the square is 6 centimeters. So the length of the side, 6 centimeters. 
and the other side 6 centimeters that's the formula of finding the area of a square that's the length of the side times the length of the side gives me 6 times 6 36 square centimeters okay so the area of square is 36 square centimeters now because we know that it's identical they are identical squares area of square B is equals to the area of square A now putting them together putting them together that will just be 36 square meters uh, I mean 36 square centimeters plus 36 square centimeters will give me a total of 72 square centimeters so the area of the figure be it the area of square B square B plus the area of square A is 72 square meters square center is 72 square centimeters so in the same way you can understand that this if the area of one square is 36 square centimeters I have area of the two squares add up together because they are identical you can also write the end this in this manner okay so we are looking at the area so that's one method I hope this method is understandable for you okay because you are able to see the two squares and you are familiar with the formula of finding the area of squares now on the right side here I show you another method we still use these two squares of course but because some of us are able to see the figure really well you will now be able to notice that this is a rectangle but of course we have a missing, missing side here that we don't know of this length of this figure here which is now a rectangle made up of the square okay so we, in other words we are looking for the area of the figure which is a which is now a rectangle and I know I can use the length of the rectangle multiply by its short side the breadth of the rectangle now if you notice from this figure you are able to see that the breadth is already label because it's the side of the square so the question is what is the length of the rectangle so you'll be able to know to find the length of the rectangle that's the figure okay so I have to improve my handwriting so that you can see this better I hope so far it has been okay I will zoom in a little later and then I'm done with this so that you can take a closer look so the length of the rectangle is made out of two sides of the square can you see that? square A and square B so you can be able to see that this is 6 centimeters from here to here and this is also six centimeters here because it's two sides of the square so the length of the rectangle is actually six centimeters plus six centimeters will give me 12 centimeters now using the formula of the area of the figure and length of the rectangle times the breadth of the rectangle now I'm able to find the area of the figure because it's the rectangle as in 12 centimeters multiplied by six centimeters that's the length and the breadth and that will also give me 72 square centimeters 
So that's method two. And that's the first method for finding the area of the figure using the squares. And now finding the area of the figure by finding first the length of the rectangle. Okay? Similar ideas here, just different steps. Now, I'm done with, complete, I'm done with explaining these two questions. If you feel that there's another method to help you solve this problem, I welcome you to leave a comment below and let us know what other ideas you have. If you like this video and you feel that it's not enough, let me give you an extension at the bottom. Knowing this question, are you able to solve the next question here? See, instead of finding an area, find the parameter. Okay, so if you are satisfied, you can end the video here. If you are interested in finding out the parameter figure, I'm going to continue right after this. Right, here, I'm going to do the extension of the steps that's talking about the parameter of the figure. So, over here, we understand the parameter of the figure. As the outline of the shape, where I trace, whereas the area of the figure, we are looking at the space that's covered inside the shape. That's just like a handphone cover that I can cover the handphone entirely. That's, that's it's like a handphone cover which I can cover the handphone screen entirely. So that's the area. And the parameter is I trace the outline okay, of the shape. So in this case, I, I labeled it a little bit with the highlighter. So if I'm going to move to the extension of understanding the figure's parameter, I'm highlighting this parameter, tracing the outlines with my orange highlighter. And that's the parameter. Now, some of us may have found it already while waiting for this video to load up. Two steps, two, um, I mean, two methods to find it. One is because of the familiarity of the squares here. So if I were to draw this on on the left side and label all sides of the squares so that you can see it clearly here you notice that I'm not writing anything inside here because that's inside the shape I want to talk about the parameter so be very careful if you're talking about the parameter it's the outside so I'm not adding the measurement that's inside so two ways to solve it some of us are able to solve it by remembering the formula of adding all the sides of the shape. In this case, the parameter could be 6 plus 12. That's the length of the rectangle. So the breadth plus the length plus the length plus the breadth or two breath plus, or in other words, the length of breath, the length and the breath, two times. So I go six plus 12 centimeters plus six plus 12 centimeters. Okay, and I can add it up. That gives me 36 centimeters. Okay. Or I can go because one length of the square is six centimeters. I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six sides 
all together of the square. So that would mean the parameter of the figure of the rectangle now will be 6 units times 6 centimeters. That would be 36 centimeters. Alright, so that's the extension of the question. Okay, for our friends here who might be finding it strenuous to look at the words, if it's too small, let me zoom in for you and I'll move the paper along so that you might be, so that you'll be able to see. Okay. So I'll leave the C, C component blank for you to take it yourself to see, to choose which method you have decided to use. You can choose one method to solve the question and the other method to as the evaluation step to check. And finally, in the evaluation stage, make sure you check all the units are indicated. Okay, so you have indicated all the units and that's a very important step to complete that's the important step to complete your entire question or R, A, C and E. So I leave that to you to complete. Okay, checking the choice of the method and checking if you have written down your units. Okay, thank you.